Ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages, cost a child here, Doncaster born, but built for theme park. So welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Yes, I'm finally back. I know it's been a long, stressful day at work. It's been a long week at work, but I'm back. I'm pumping out video after video after video just to get some videos ready for days I am working. Uh, but this one is on Adventureland in Iowa, and this is on the 2022 season because they have announced nine, that is right, you heard me correctly on the other side of the screen, nine new rides for 2022, and three departing rides, as well as one ride under review. Now, before we get started, guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it, Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We're passing the 2,500 mark at the moment. Let's get to 2,600 subs as soon as possible. Make sure you do that. It would really mean the world. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. And for now, guys, let me read off the information from Screamscape and while you see a video from Adventureland themselves on the nine new rides, the three departing ones for 2022. So this is all about the new rides for 2022 and we also have some wonderful um, and sad departures as well. So the Falling Star, Lighthouse and Lady Luck will be departing the park. Now while there is various reasons to remove each, primarily they say it comes down to the fact that parts to repair them are also no longer available. A collection of nine new rides will be added to the park this season. We have the Warhawks, which is Zampella Flying Tigers, Bernie Swing, a Zampella Happy Swing, The Lighthouse, a Zampella Pump and Jumps, The Revolution, a Zampella Rocking Tug, Leap Frogs, a Zampella Jump Around, Circus Balloons, a Zampella Samba Balloon Attraction, The Clipper, which is like a mini swinging ship, a Speedway Racers, which is Zampella Speedway, and The Rocking Rainbow, which is a Zampella Wave Swinger Attraction. The park will also host the Des Moines Renaissance Fair in the southeast corner in May 2022. As for the Raging River ride that was involved in the fatality earlier this year, the park claims the future of that ride is still undergoing review. So it sounds like this is all going to be a wonderful part of the plan to make sure that Adventureland Iowa is securing its long-term future for the theme park. This is a wonderful load of additions for families and I really can't wait to see exactly what's going to be going down in 2022 throughout the season, not just with these brand new rides. The new rides look absolutely astonishing by the way. They look really, really good. And I think that overall the park are making some excellent additions to make sure that the 2022 season at Adventureland Park in Iowa is nothing less the Van Dabby Dozy. Let's share my thoughts now on the brand new rides for 2022 at Adventureland Iowa in the summer. It's family fun for everyone this upcoming season. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill 6 of all ages. That is speaking about Adventureland Iowa because we have nine new rides for 2022, three departing attractions, and also we've got the under-review Raging River ride. Now, of course, we still don't know the long-term future of the Raging River. I will, I'm, I may record at some point a separate video before the official decision is revealed. Um... Talking about what I would want to do with the Raging River, whether it's keeping it and refurbishing it to prevent further accidents and bring in some new safety measures, um, and just general upgrades around the ride just to give it a bit, bit more theming as well, or a replacement entirely for the ride and what I would replace it with in terms of what budget I'd be given and you know what can I do with that budget. I may do a separate video on that, so stay tuned and comment down below if you do want that. But for the 2022 season, focusing on the new rides and departing attractions, uh, the three departing rides, like we said, parts are unavailable for those rides, and uh, you know, obviously, it's very, very sad. Uh, but uh, by the way, I do like the uh, one particular one out of the three that's departing that I do like the look of is Lady Luck. I like the casino style theming on the on the design on the on the design of the ride itself. So uh, thought that was pretty clever. Uh, but those three are departing, nine new rides are coming in and uh, they're all all Zamperla pretty much uh, they're pretty much all Zamperla um, family kids rides that's an expectancy especially considering that this year they brought in 
uh, the rapidly brilliant uh, and rapidly loving um, Dragon Slayer, the 4D free spin attraction. Uh, so I do think that overall this is a wonderful selection of brand new rides. I think that Ventile is doing a pretty good job. So... There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is Adventureland's 2022 investment. Please like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the location bell to see this YouTube video. And for now, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, I am Coach Chell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an adventure-tastic day.